All right, guys. So we got another one here in the shop. 2020 Coleman uh, 125 ATV tractor supply special. Uh, blown head gasket. We ripped it apart last night. Made sure all the internals were okay. Did not record that. Uh, There's going to be a little montage of uh, us reassembling a motor, and then uh, eventually you'll see us installing it as well. This is just some of the stuff we do here at the shop on a regular basis. Just sit back, enjoy. Any questions, comment down below, uh, and one of us will get back to you. Absolutely. What I'm doing here is, I know it's kind of hard to see with the angle, cleaning the base gasket off the crankcase. Reason for it, when we put the new base gasket on, if that surface isn't 100% flat, you're going to have a base gasket leak, which will create all kinds of issues as far as an oil leak. really excited we got all kinds of stuff in this shop uh, I'm gonna start recording uh, probably post at least three times a week um, also super busy we did have a litter of puppies uh, most of you know who know Axel and Demon shop dogs here we had an accidental litter so uh, got six beautiful puppies Males will actually be here starting tomorrow, Thursday. So I'm not sure when this will be updated. It might be before, it might be after, but they will be here. Alright, so now we got everything cleaned up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set the new base gasket. This is directional. Hopefully, uh, people overseas sent this direction. Flywheel side does have two dowel pins that need to go in place. And it also gets accompanied by this little tiny washer here. We're going to put a tad of grease on it. assembly schmutz in the cylinder here. You might hear me curse here, I'm trying to get this lined up correctly.
Now slide the timing chain through before you bottom the cylinder. Again, make sure that rubber gasket is still in the base. Hold the flywheel so the motor doesn't spin. We'll also hold on the timing chain up. Just going to negotiate it a little. Get it seated on the dowels. Okay. And now the cylinder's on. Wipe up the schmutz. Now these motors have bolts, like so, that hold the cylinder on to the crankcase. And then hold the cylinder head to the cylinder. We're not going to tighten it. We're just going to go ahead and let's make sure they're the same length. Good thing I checked. Longer one in the bottom. Again, you're not tightening it. We're just going to go ahead for an alignment purpose. Okay. Now you also want to make sure your timing chain is on the crank gear. Make this by. Okay. All right, guys. So we got the cylinder on, taken care of. We just put the head gasket in place. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of uh, schmutz right here. Again, same thing we did on the base gasket. Okay. You're gonna have this right here. This little rubber o-ring and inside of it is this metal washer. Okay, so you put them together, schmutz them. Schmutz is just gonna hold them in place. Okay, schmutz, schmutz, schmutz. A little bit of schmutz everywhere. You never put too much schmutz. Just watch where you put it though, I'm telling you that now. Okay, so that's on. Dowel pin's in place, no problem. We cleaned up the cylinder head. Bam, look at that surface. And we're going to go ahead and slide it on. Again, hold this cam chain because it will get you. Cam chain. Of course the rocker arm had to move. Let's see if we could uh, snaggle it. So I'm going to take it all apart here. It does not look like it's going to pull off, right?
a little persuasion goes a long way. Okay, push the rocker back in place. Rocker shaft, I'm sorry. I know some of you guys are going to get all bent out of shape. You called the rocker shaft the rocket. Hold the cam chain up. Slide, look at that. Comes through. Don't lose the cam chain, I'm telling you. Again, this is a Coleman 8TV 125 automatic forward neutral reverse. A lot of them though, I mean, these Chinese motors, they're universal for the most part. Excuse me. Clean the old gasket off here, like so. Don't cut yourself, guys. Read all the warning labels prior to usage. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, no, that's the right tool for the job, but I like this. Makes me feel masculine. Is that the word? You have to go up zone. Yeah. I just got a manicure, so I mean, I gotta keep them clean. You might as well just get manicured in that. I can't get my manicure dirty, that's why I'm using gloves. They went up, it's the holidays. Go get your wallet on you. Yeah. I wanna see how they says my kids. <laughs> my dad's middle name's Michael. I didn't get that name though. Could be worse. Could be Thomas. It is fucking Thomas. Fucking douche. Oop. Asshole middle name. I don't know if that was better or worse. What are you doing? Asbestos everywhere. Is that bonded? I don't know, but we're gonna have a put a plate adapter in there to make up the damn difference. Look, you can see the dust on the camera. We're good. We got good qualities. that dry just a little bit so this is where it's going to get confusing for a lot of you guys and I'm no uh, I'm going to try to explain it to my best oh, son of a biscuit see it's what happens when you rush the job you forget to put the timing chain roller in place so we'll pull that back off don't do what I did okay you put the roller in place guys okay Look at this. You're going to take the cylinder head completely off so you can actually see what the hell you're doing. You want to make sure that you actually threw the hole in the, in the roller. Or else it's not gonna, I mean, you kind of defeat the purpose. It's not gonna roll. Roll. I said roll. Roll. No, roll, not roll.
Hey, look, the roll is rolling. Make sure that's all good. Whoa. Roll. Yeah. Whoa. Take the pick, you hold the timing chain, and what do we do? We don't drop the timing chain, guys. Make sure you still have the TV. And you remember this bolt from last time? Same thing, what I tell you. Hey, can you shut up over there, please? We're trying to record. You screw the head, cylinder head to the cylinder. Don't, you don't tighten it. That's it. You take some gasket maker. Show me how to repurpose the head gasket. Yeah, I uh, reused, replaced.